Good afternoon, YouTube hunters. Brad Goodspeed here. Okay, you saw me post uh, paper maps and some 3D maps of the way the maze is going to be. This is a much closer 3D rendering to the way things are going to be laid out. Um, since this stuff was already drawn up in 3D software anyways, I just took it into the pro software I use for work and threw some lights in there and did a little walkthrough. It took maybe 10 minutes to do this. Uh, the rendering of the final file took a lot longer, but in the meantime, I'll let you have a quick look. So when you come into the first room here, this is the um, going to be like the front porch area. We're going to dress it up to look like a front porch. I'll go through like a quiet uh, or sort of sort of section by section um, pausing walk through here um, afterwards. But for right now, we'll just do a complete go through. Um, this is the first room contained inside the wooden structure. That's the desk where Timmy will be sitting, which is elevated. That's my kind of weapon area where a haunt actor will be standing. Um, then we will go through into the hallway. I've moved the grandfather clock over here. There'll probably be a light in that. And my sort of my radio will be there, my chest radio. Um, and go around another corner to the little dining area where I'm going to make a hanging upside down skeleton sculpture um, at some point. And then uh, there's going to be this window here which will be covered in either plexiglass or chicken wire behind which a prop will jump up, a pneumatic jumping prop. But then there behind the light will be a drape where an actor jumps up. And then they will continue down this sort of hallway I make out of skids into the garage portion which I'm not showing here in this video. Uh, this is just an overhead view of it and now we'll go through step by step. So again, coming this doorway you're walking through here is the uh, tent doorway and so this is the first room. Here, on this part of the wall, I'm going to probably uh, put up, because that's a wall panel there, I'm probably going to hang some things to look like the outdoor, maybe a street sign, or this is supposed to be like an enclosed veranda, I'm thinking here. We have an old um, classic uh, antique wheelchair that'll be in here, some other things. I'm going to probably put up a poster here that I'll design talking about how this is a crime scene, how this is a murder scene. Um, or maybe lay around some of the um, newspapers from the Butcher of Provincetown. So moving on, uh, these are the uh, animal cages. Now some of you may have seen the bird cage that I made last year. I'm going to probably sit that on top of both of these cages, but these will actually be animal cages. And in the bottom one, I'll probably have the door open and have a make a prop of like a dead animal kind of lying in it. The top one will be covered in um, burlap or something and I'm going to use a motor to shake it on a trigger to shake the cage and to produce all kinds of weird sounds like I outlined yesterday. Moving along, then we go around the corner into this first room. Now stopping here you'll see on the right is Timmy's chair um, sort of elevated up about uh, three feet off the ground onto this little cabinet I'm going to make. I don't obviously didn't represent Timmy in 3D but that's where he would be sitting. So he'd be on your right. And then straight ahead would be this skeleton guy. And uh, I did something like this last year, although I didn't show it in any of the videos, I don't think. But have him suspended up against the ceiling, almost hanging over the people who walk through and completely covered in uh, blown spider webs, in uh, webs from a web shooter, an uh, uh, air compressed web shooter, which look great, obviously, if anyone's never tried that. So moving along. Um, you'll come around this corner, get a look at Timmy, and then those two pieces of wood, the vertical pieces there, that's what I'm going to use. I'm probably going to suspend chicken wire or something from one to the other so that that little shelf that's on the right hand side there, I can put a bunch of props on there and people won't really have access to knock them over or something. So moving along, and then if you look to your right behind where Timmy was hiding, I'll have a drape sort of between him and this area. That's going to be a big pegboard, and that's where I'm going to hang all my nasty old tools, and then also where the actor will be able to control this light, so it'll be pitch dark in there until they flick on the light, and then that's sort of a you know a quasi scare, not a real big jump out scare, but it'll intimidate people. So moving along, then people will um, go through the next doorway. 
decided to move the grandfather clock there as I mentioned this will just be scenery in here you need a like a hallway where nothing happens to build up anticipation for the next thing and then as they come around the corner this will be the dining area um, and I as I described this is where a couple of different scares are going to happen um, boom on the right here comes the uh, the pneumatic jumping prop and then you can't really see because of the lighting but behind there is a drape and that's where an action will jump out as previously mentioned and then moving along so that's a quick 3d look at our haunt for 2013 now it's all in the computer now the hard part begins in making it into reality so thanks for giving it a look and happy haunting <laughs>